This is the Unicorn Blaster. I'm gonna show you my top tips and tricks as well as a maintenance guide for how to keep this running at peak performance. The Unicorn is a rock solid blaster. It's got a very durable shell and a lot of cool upgrades you can do for it. I'm gonna show you how to do the barrel swap, general maintenance, and anything you might need to know as you get inside there. We're gonna be upgrading to this 29 centimeter barrel, which is threaded, making future upgrades or changes really, really easy. So first, to get to the inside of the blaster, you're just gonna pull your two pins. This is pretty obvious. It is pretty darn easy. Warning that if you have an upgrade spring, it's going to shoot apart. I have a lighter spring in here. I believe it's a stock spring because we were playing around in the warehouse. So we are good to go. At that point, I have separated the two halves. If you're doing a spring swap, here's how you do it. Then you put it back together. That's pretty much it. There aren't a lot of spring swaps that are that easy, but this is one of them. And I really like the blaster for that reason. Next, we're going to lubricate the plunger and plunger tube. Now, as it just so happens, this is a pretty easy one to get out. First, you're simply gonna tip that out and out will come your plunger head. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean that up. We're basically gonna try to get all the grease off we possibly can. It's a good idea not to work on your blaster on the ground, on the carpet, or anywhere else that you can't control the dust. A table, even a card table, is better than working on the floors. But essentially what I'm trying to do here is remove any dust or dirt or grime and remove all of the actual original lubricant. That should be pretty good for now. It's also a good time to actually inspect your O-ring, that is to look at it, make sure that it looks nice and clean, that there are no bites, cuts, or wear. That one's looking real good, so I'm going to leave it alone. Now at this point, we're gonna remove the plunger tube. Now you'll feel like you can't get this out because it collides a little bit there, but if you kind of grab it and pull up gently, it will, it should be able to rock and slide out the back like that. Just collides slightly there, so there we're good to go. Now that I've got the actual plunger tube, I'm just gonna take this, since it's short enough, and shove it straight through. And I can use my fingers to basically remove any dirt, grime, lubricant from there. I'll clean the outside if there's anything sticky on there. Set that aside for a minute. Next, we're gonna clean the other side. Now this one's a little trickier because unless you wanna remove the whole assembly, you've gotta do it from in place. But I usually find that I can rotate around and get the grease off. I like to start by getting the bulk of the grease with this, but then I follow up with something that's not gonna leave lint all over the O-ring. And I'm kind of rotating the O-ring. I can even work this towel down around it. If you really need to be thorough, you can take the whole blaster apart. You'll see that in the next step when we actually do the barrel, since the barrel upgrade is a little bit more complicated. Now we're going to reapply lubricant. You've got two options for lubricant on the blaster. You can go with super lube or you can go with slug slime, which is a thinner lubricant. I'm gonna go with the heavier, thicker stuff on this one because it's closer to what comes in the blaster from the factory. So I'll simply apply that all the way around. You can be relatively liberal with this. Most of this is gonna stay trapped inside the plunger tube. And then conveniently set that vertical like that. Likewise, we're gonna add it to part of the plunger that we can see here. And since I can't access the back side of this, I'm actually gonna put a little bead inside here. And I'm gonna kind of smear that around on the inside to make sure that that side's gonna get a good seal as well. Then we're gonna return this back to where it was. It'll kind of click in place there. And then we'll take our actual plunger and we'll drop it carefully down the center. And you can kind of twist it around and spread out that lubricant a little bit, but that's feeling pretty darn good. In order to clean the ram, you're going to need to push the prime back. I like to put a hand on the blaster here, slide it back and hold my thumb there so I can make a nice fist while having that exposed. Once that's actually exposed, I can get in there and actually clean out any existing lubricant. And on the ram itself, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on the lubricant and I'm going to use Slug Slime, which is a lighter weight lubricant overall. The more lubricant you put on here, the better your seal will be. However, it is a double-edged sword, so don't simply dump tons of lubricant in there because this does ultimately touch your darts and push the darts into the barrel, meaning that every bit of dirt and grime and dust and hair that happens to get on a dart will get into your barrel and into the overall plunger system over time. We'll go ahead and work that kind of in place. That's feeling pretty good. At that point, if all you needed to do was clean and lubricate, you can actually put the blaster back together, put the pins in, and you should be good to go. I'm gonna actually go ahead and do that because I wanna check the air seal after replacing the lubricant and checking my O-rings. I'm losing air in about a, well, about a second now. 
If you're not getting the air seal that you think you should have, or you're not getting the performance you're expecting, it's worth checking all your O-rings again, but ultimately you may wanna look at actually replacing the O-rings with the upgraded ones. We do carry those on the shop. Now we're gonna go ahead and replace this barrel. The barrel in this blaster takes a little bit more to get at, but once you've upgraded it, you should be future-proofed because the new barrels are super cool and they are threaded. Much like the Harrier and Seagull, these barrels allow for instant quick swap on the field with other barrels. And we are working on some longer Kuryaka barrels that will go with this blaster perfectly. So let's dive in. First, you gotta take this grip off, which you're going to need to use the included driver, just two screws, and that will pop off. While we're in here, we have seen a handful where this screw here was not tight enough, but it looks like these are plenty tight. Just something to note. I'm gonna go ahead and actually take these out because in order to get at the barrel, we need to remove this Picatinny prime rail. Now I'll go ahead and remove these two front screws. At that point, you can pull off the front muzzle. I've removed the bottom half of the blaster with the two quick release pins again, and now I'm gonna remove two more screws. This one right here and this one over here. If I hold this new barrel here, you can kind of visualize where those screws are going. They're going into these brass inserts. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and pull the whole assembly out here. You'll kind of work it this way. And this entire assembly will come out just like this. Now we're effectively just going to replace this part, but to get to that, we've actually got to take out these bar pieces. After those three screws have all been removed, you should be able to take this block off and then slide the entire barrel assembly out. Then we're gonna slide the new one in, same orientation. It should really only go in in one orientation, like so. And then we'll take the return spring and slide that down to the base. Now I'm going to go ahead and slide this front block on. You are sliding this top bar, top of the three bars into this channel here. And that bearing should be down on the bottom to relieve priming pressure. Fortunately, they designed this that it only can go in one way. It does not fit the other way. The screw holes will not line up. They were pretty good about that. And I'll go ahead and reinstall all three of those screws. Now that I've got those three screws in place, you wanna make sure that this little spacer and lock nut is still in here. So this only goes in one way. This is what your grip actually attaches to. There we go. After that, you're going to wanna take your front muzzle piece here and thread that in as well. At this point, if you've got this open, this is the easiest access you'll ever have to this O-ring. So if you haven't already, good time to do this. Obviously we showed you the fast way earlier in the video. You're gonna push that into place like that. Should look just like that and those holes should line up. We're gonna put our four screws back in, one, two, three, and four on the other side. Now we can just go ahead and put the blaster back together the same way we took it apart. Not a whole lot to that. Just replace our pins and screw back in our Picatinny grip connector, which goes that way. Then you just reattach your Picatinny grip and you are good to go. At this point, we've got a nice threaded barrel that should you need to remove it or change it to a longer barrel or a shorter barrel with future versions, it can be threaded and unthreaded very easily. I thought this was a really nice upgrade feature that XYL did on this blaster and we really are happy with the result. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.